We developed the 1101 principle as a simple slogan that would help the general public remember the first three phases of cold water immersion. And uh, we just uh, show you this graph so that you can just remember and put everything in perspective. If you look at time and core temperature on this axis, uh, the red line is core temperature showing that for the first number of minutes, 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, not much is happening with core temperature. And it's not till about one hour that you would actually get to a core temperature low enough to lose consciousness. And providing you have a protected airway, the core temperature will, will drop for another hour or so before you get to the point where cardiac arrest occurs. And all the action happens up here. If you can not panic and control your breathing, that's what you want to do. And remember that you don't have forever. You only have 5 or 10 or 15 minutes of meaningful movement. So therefore, the 1101 principle regarding the cold shock responses, consider the following. Do not panic. If possible, enter the water slowly and try to keep your head from being submerged. If you're in cold water activities where you might go in, they should never go near the water without flotation on. Of course, you want to wear uh, thermal protective clothing and focus on surviving the first minute by just getting your breathing under control. It's very difficult to swim when your breathing is out of control. We normally entrain our breathing to our activity. And this is another reason why people don't do so well, because they can't control their swimming motion. Regarding cold incapacitation, consider the following. You have about 10 minutes or so of meaningful movement before you become incapacitated. Things like swimming or doing other kind of self-rescue or other survival type of activities need to be done. And once you start to feel weaker, you need to start preparing to wait for rescue. And regarding hypothermia, consider the following. You want to delay the onset of hypothermia as much as you can. You know that it might take 30 minutes to become mildly hypothermic, but you may be able to postpone that even more. Most of us have heard about the HELP position, and if you remember the infrared thermal uh, photography of the uh, person where we had areas of high heat loss in the underarms and the groin and the neck, the HELP position is basically pushing your arms against your chest, squeezing your legs together, and trying not to move. And that will decrease the heat loss from those high heat loss areas. Uh, if there is a group of you, of uh, three or more people, you can try a huddle, which is uh, people just sort of uh, putting their arms around, holding themselves together in a tight-knit group, and that decreases heat loss. And of course, you want to exit water as soon as possible, and if it's not possible to get out of the water and you know you're going to be there for a long time you want to get out of the water as far as possible so if there is a boat in almost every possible condition you want to get as far out on top of that boat as you can so to summarize the 1101 principle first do not panic because you have one minute to get your breathing under control 10 minutes of meaningful movement and one hour before you become unconscious due to hypothermia